NBA 2K23 Minor League. We're going to be on game 65 against the Pacers. Let's get into it. Yeah. So, if I play against somebody and they're using KD or LeBron and mm -hmm. I use myself and I win, oh, wow, oh, yeah. Everybody's going to hear about it? For sure. The whole city's going to, yeah. I'm real competitive. Welcome to Ephemeral. Come on in. Okay, I'm excited. What would you like to get tattooed today? I would love to get a logo from our show, 2 TV. Is that possible? Yeah, awesome. I have these here. Um, okay. I'll check them out. I love this one. This okay. one's perfect. That size is good? Yes. Okay. Should I get it so I'm looking at it or you're looking at it? Here we go. Welcome everyone to Noche Enabia. Here's the starting group for the Indiana Pacers. The guard set will be Halliburton and Forte. Lavert out there with Smith. And it's Turner in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for the Bulls. I can't Ball believe we want to come the ball. Guard set. Isaiah Stewart out there with Can't Clint Capella, believe it. and it's DeRozan in at the small forward. And with the addition, Greg, of the playing tournament, we're seeing more meaningful games here late in the season. Nice. The same teams battle for position more than ever. You have multiple teams trying to secure that six seed to avoid the play-in. So the Chicago Bulls are able to put up the first points on the board. Lovert with it. Smith. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Outside, Levine. Fires for three. And that was a fast police. Get it in there. Thanks. Thanks. Those are free points you're giving away. you got to work harder on the glass. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Oh my goodness, he put the moves on. Oh! Hey, look, he knows they've got great shooters in the score. That thing got launched. He thinks this team can look go toe that. to toe with anybody in the league there. That thing is just They won't be pulling back the reins even if they start missing hammered. a few. Back Swatted. to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. You know, it's hard to create spacing without the threads. Good. That was ridiculous. Here's Duarte. He had 15 points last out. Levert from outside. Trills the three-pointer. Levert. And, and you know, it took them a while to get going, but they finally connected now on their fourth shot of the game. Back to ball. The deep three from Levine. Here's Stewart. Laid in with a nice touch on base. Stewart. Stewart's got his second bucket of the game to go. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. A nice shot by LeVert. LeVert. Terrific shot from LeVert. Three knows how effective he can be from deep. Ball against Halliburton. For three. And Lonzo with the play. He's kind of covered too. Oh, like he hit Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you need to fire three of your own. Boom. I tell you what, it's scary. First when you think about foul. how much nice. first ball has team to throw. When you factor in how line. efficient he is Got him. already. You know, Greg, we talk a lot about Ball's offense, but his defense is just as important to this team. Oh, Kevin, very disruptive, and he has terrific positional size, and he can anticipate where the offense is going. Halliburton right side. And there are the Pacers with Halliburton. Halliburton. Clearly, Halliburton is hunting his shots. He's not picky and knows exactly how to adjust on the mid-range jump shot. Ball with it, picked up by two. To Capella. Shoots and no good. How did he miss that? How did he not get the rebound? What happened there? Passes it to Levert. And a wide open look for Halliburton. No good from outside. And I was hoping he could dunk that. Terrence Levert. Levine showing you good 
And I went too far under that screen. Through the defense, got a slice through that. Slice through it like it's fruit ninja. You know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. So it's the Pacers now. After the Bulls begin up the basket, just moments ago. He does not lack for confidence. He should. This guy is a dangerous goal. No layup for me. I got through. Chris Trying to stay in front of him. Couldn't do it. A super high percentage shot there. You just can't allow him to get that close. Here's Levine. And got to end the shot, so he'll be shooting for those here. Kevin, what's your personal question about Levine? Got that one. All around play. He's a fetch. At the line for Shaq. Got it. Levine is in double digits. Goga Bitadze is checked in for turn. Jackson comes in for Jalen Smith. And it's T.J. McConnell in for Halliburton. This guy, to me, embodies determination. Small at his position, but he still gets up and keeps plays alive. That's mind over matter for sure. 
Dang, that was such a bad release. That shot off. Some solid defense there from Jackson. Pacers trail by three. Shoots from 12. And the Pacers take it. Could not stay with him. And good shooting numbers, no doubt. Last year, he got back on the turnovers. And boy, he's still young. There's still tons of upside to be had. Those are chances. Almost always, you can rely on him to get you two points. But the Man, he just did that twice. What happened? And Chicago shoots just 35% to strike the game. And it's ball penetrating. Yeah, and got right through. How do you like it? Right back at you. Oh my goodness. That's how you succeed in this league. Now here's Levine. Following the miss by Alonzo Ball. Shoots the three. That was a good release. Got it. Shoots again. Another shot. No good on the layup. You know, even though they have the lead, he's frustrated with himself that he's not doing more. Outside Levine. Good release. Here we go. So we do that. It was a rough possession before that, so that we were able to get that three. Oh my goodness, He's trying to dunk that or what? Sometimes that can be a motivating factor. May very well light a fire under them tonight. Nobody likes to be dominated on the glass like that. Yeah, they got that one, but early on, it's it's really been a struggle for them to secure that defensive backboard. And because it's still, I wouldn't read too much into it. That will be a lot of game left. Out of their last five days, how about all five from one ring? Well, the defense just hasn't pressed up to deny any of those looks, guys. I mean, they're hanging back and getting picked apart it has to be Johnson here's Matherin DeRozan defending and it's Matherin missing boy that is awesome defense guys against a capable finisher well done I'm sure the coaches love that come here to the screen to the screen and that takeover is going to wear off here Levine deciding where to go with it 
Got it. And how does he have a takeover activated? That was a good release. Ooh, got it. Nice. I tried to time it right, but I, I just can't. I just have to go off on of memory because it goes so fast. There's no way I can see it and react to it in time. Oh, come on. I didn't see how close that time was to running out. I just go to the front of the rim and work on different spins. Getting more comfortable with both hands and finishing. Kyrie Irving did that when he was younger, and that's one of the ways he became a great finisher. Kevin, back to you. He is a great finisher. He's David Banks, he's studying the greats in a personal foul. You know, most of the eight first foul picks are one of the right. guys. We actually did build up a pretty decent lead so far. Taking your two shots. When Chris Duarte got drafted in 2021, he was 24 years old. So how about that, Kevin? The oldest first round pick in almost 12. Oh, there we go. Dang, I sagged off. I got turned the wrong way. That was a good release. And he can't answer back the three pointer offline. For Chicago, they won their last contest that game against the Sun. And it's Levert missing. Second quarter, we're a little over a minute and a half in. Outside, ball. Hugging versus Stewart, he gets it there. And a foul Pacers ball. Foul. Almost got it to go in, but it was a First person. Oh, got that one. Alright, I'm gonna get the bench in here. Can't ride the starters for so many minutes, especially when the playoffs are like uh, 18 games away. Good release. Got it. 
has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Here's Halliburton, and again, it's Indiana converting. Pull up a really big time weapon for Halliburton. Makes it really tough to guard Tyrese. Rogic taking his time here. And nice. Yeah, and that field goal percentage zooming upwards is now above 50%, which is pretty strong. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. Jones kicks to Drummond. And too much time in the rain. Dang, dude. Indiana ball. Pacers trail by 18. And Drogic with the foul. That is his first Brogan. foul of the game. First personal foul. Second team foul. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. And it's Halliburton. Oh, he put the spin on me. Ah. Three corners off the mark. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebound. Here we go. Twenty point lead. Not bad. Not bad. It's one of those good shooting nights. Second. Bulls leading by 19 points. Here's Trogic. The rebound by Halliburton. That was a good block. And it goes all bounds. That one's off Bradley. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. Here's Halliburton. And another one. That was good, too. Outside, Jones. Caruso looking for an opening. From deep three-point range. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Smith's got four rebounds in this game. Here's Halliburton. On the money from 12 to 1. Halliburton. Halliburton's got four this quarter. Halliburton's quickness and agility really makes him hard to deal with, especially when he's in close like that. Here's Trumman, badly trying to break free. Try to take advantage of that mismatch. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Duarte. Duarte. Boy, Karis LeVert has done a nice job elevating his playmaking ability. Which helps him and his team. Cloak loose. Pass to Drummond. Pocket six. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. You know, with First Drummond's free throw foul. history, teams aren't afraid Second to get physical with him inside. I mean, they'll send him to the line before the they line get him to the East. Here we go, got one of them. Pacers trail by 18. And it's Halliburton penetrating. And that is out of bounds. Indiana will retain the possession. Off the inbound. A shot missing. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And really a Got the mismatch. That's good. Effort level to this point. It seems to me they've gone after this win. Here we go. When Drummond's points come, they tend to come inside. He's got a lot of ways to beat you down low. It's stolen by Dragic. Passes to Drummond. Oh my goodness, that was right to him. That was off the backboard. Blocked. Here we go. 
Really starting to find himself now, guys, after getting shut out. In the Indiana first Paul Tom called the Pacers. Here they come, fans. There we go. Here we go. There we go. And that was right into his hand. Try to get a pick and roll here, see if we can do something. That got blocked pretty bad. Come here. Dang it, dude. Show. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. On the wing, Jackson. The shot. No good. Good D by Drummond. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. Give and go, pick and roll. Another day, another chance at the rim for Drummond. This is where he likes to do his best. Doesn't even give and go, it was just regular pick and roll. Back to McConnell. There's the pass to Levert. And the Pacers can't get it to go. You know, they're losing in large part because he's, he's not playing well. It's really as simple as that. Here's Drummond. Bradley, wow. Jones. 
There's 126 left. Caruso, no good. Indiana's gone 104 from three point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Levert the pass to Jackson. Shot from 12. It's all in by the Bulls. Pass to Drummond. And Drogic has it in the corner. Back to Drummond. Here we go, got the mismatch on that pick and roll. Bradley trying to break free. And Drummond throws it down. One of the key components of Drummond. That is how you do that. An intimidating presence on the offensive glass. The pace are shooting a lackluster 38% for the game, struggling so far. 40 seconds left to play in the first half. And here's Levert. He had 13 points in the win against San Antonio. And out of bounds, the Bulls will take it. You know, that's just sloppy oh, basketball giving away a possession. No real reason for that time. Yoga Vitadze is checked in for Indiana. Chicago is gone two for five from three-point land since the end of the first. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Bradley trying to break free. Drummond, and it's Drummond, Drummond again. He is putting in some work. Second chance becomes a dunk. We could feel over here. GA such a good, aggressive play in the paint. Guys, it's all about persistence on the offensive glass. You just can't ever give up on a play. Here's Jones. And the rejection by Jackson. And it's a lot. They say it was last touch by Jackson. Chris Duarte. Shot at the buzzer does it go in for the first half. All right, halftime. Thanks very much with Rick Carlisle. Coach, what needs to happen on the defensive end to get back on track? Well, a lot of things need to get better. Um, our level forced defensively is not there. We okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And what a show being put on here for the Zach Levine led the way in the first half. He had 32 points and two rebounds. Coming off a great game last time out, he's turning it up a notch. And now with the second half about to get under. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. You look at Zach Levine, he's really been playing well. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate with within the first few quarters. And you know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. Alex Caruso out there with Drogic. Then there's Andre Drummond. Then it's Jones. And it's Bradley in at the power forward. That's the five out there for the Bulls. In the post. And it's good. Here we go. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Yeah, and they're really getting pummeled on points in the paint. Here's Halliburton. Halliburton has lots of skills you love to Tony see from a young guard. First Boy, I tell you what, foul. he's got a bright future. Team love foul. watching this young man play. Shooting for Indiana. Both shots good from the strike. The ball shooting well, 50% from the floor. Rogic finds Drummond. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got six rebounds in the game. And it's Drogic with the foul. Stop that fast break in his tracks. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Second half rolling along now. About a minute play here. A pass to Levert. Here's Duarte. Puts up a three. It's Drummond with the rebound. Drummond's got nine rebounds now tonight. And he banks in the lane. Drummond's got 21 in the game. Gotta get the mismatch and just bully our way in. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. 
Turner kicks to Levert. Hadley against Smith. Shoots over breath. And it's good off Jaylen the bat. Smith. Bring that in. Smith's got his first bucket in this one. Kick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's yeah, right around. Turn on the Jets. Doing work here the second half. Three or four to start. Here's what? Oh, come on. Taking the ball right to the right and drawing the foul. He's gone two for two at the line so far. Now, here's Caruso. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Here's Dragic with the three. It's nice, Brad. He was there on that pick and roll. I saw him rolling and I was like, let's chuck it, see if it'll go in. If not, Bradley will probably be there. Halliburton against Dragic. Turner trying to free himself up. And it's Halliburton missing. And it's Bradley with the ball for Chicago. Drummond in the post. He's covered by Halliburton. A tough hook. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. Pacers have gone to a fight. That sucks. Shooting here in the third quarter. Here's Duarte. And the Pacers can't get it to go. Bulls have gone 4-7 to get things started here in the second half. Drummond in the post. And he uses the glass. Got that one. Drummond's got 23. He's cooking with grease. He's got things flaming up, looking for an opportunity every time down the floor when he's at high. They get the rebound. Smith. And that'll be two free throws coming up officially. That foul sucks. Third personal foul. Fourth team foul. Pacers have gone six of eleven for from Indiana. the tonight. Jalen Smith. A look at their free throw statistics on the season. Uh, right around 74%. And this year they haven't quite been able to maintain the free throw percentage no way. They had last season. And the media is able My to hold on awards like all rookie, but Greg, those awards can end up determining a player's max salary. Any concern there? No doubt there is, but somebody has to decide those awards, right? And no matter who it is, there's always gonna be some push. Good release just should not go so in. As long as contracts are tied to them, that power will be inside. No, another and one. Bradley is not doing anything down there except giving up and ones. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. Passes it to Drummond. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Turner's got nine rebounds in the game. Heading it down. And it's Dragic with the foul. That's his third foul so far. On a situation. Called a couple timeouts. Get their uh, stamina back a little bit. This one has been all about effort for them, in my opinion. Hitting the offensive glass hard. Time getting those extra ball. points off extra possessions. That's big time work there. And one other thing they have done well has been scoring and transition. And the ball is going to come here. Starting to send guys to the line. Ooh, actually got that one. These are his third and fourth. Ooh, got them both. Not the best statistic for him in terms of the surprise at the line. Very low number. And it's really baffling. I don't know how he lost his touch at the line so dramatically, guys. I mean, it happened quickly as well. He's nowhere close to what he shot from the line last season. Three trips to the line so far for him in this one. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. And Chicago shooting it well here in the third, about 
set. Here's Trummond. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Three-pointer, Levert. The shot, no good. And in Chicago the other way. I hope the defender came over on that last one, otherwise we would have had it. Trummond in the post. He's against Turner. Jones, no luck. Indiana's got 4 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Here's Torchin. And that one clearly a foul. Gets a win with two shots coming up. Andre Drummond picks one up. He's made three of his four free throw attempts in the game. For the Pacers, Chris Duarte. He's perfect from the line this time. And Chicago shooting 48% from the field. Not bad at all. And foul on the five. shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Turner. Clearly a foul. Third person yeah, he took foul. a shot there. Earned Third those three foul. throws. The Bulls have shot 10 of 13 for the free throw line. One of two. Not bad. Throw, good. For Indiana, they've gone somewhat so far. 4 of 10 on their shots in the second half. Come half. on. Burton outside. Four on the shot clock. Smith kicks to Levert. Smith the pass to Halliburton. Back to Smith. That's good. Halliburton Smith. with the assist. Assist from. And that's now seven points for Smith. Sweet dime that time from Halliburton. This combo guard has really impressive floor awareness, folks. The kick out to Dragic. Back to Drummond. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two and the free throw line. Fourth Dang. Takeover is not there anymore. It's making free throws a little harder. It's the second from the line. Yeah, love the attitude he's playing with here in the second half. Going strong to the hoop and getting to the free throw line. To Matherin. Three pointer. That's a deep one. It's Drummond with the rebound. And they had some botched coverage that turned into low coverage. Jones is diving. Got lucky he dropped. Everything the big man does is working right now. It's Andre Drummond's night. Keep that ball coming to him. And it's Matherin missing. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Here's Drummond. Here's Bradley. Rebound by Smith. Smith's got rebound number eight now on the night. Here's LaVert. A second chance effort. Smith, the best to turn. Finds it again. Two free throws Bulls going up, foul. and they call the shooting foul. Tony Bradley. Boy, the hard work Fifth inside from Turner paying dividends. A real handful of the defense down low. Miles and there's Turner. no question, Miles At Turner for two. is one of the NBA's best shot blockers. Kevin, he's led the league multiple times in block shots, and if you look at his per-game averages, man, very impressive. I think he's put himself in the conversation for one of the most prolific shot blockers of all time if he can sustain it for a few more years. T.J. McConnell, he's checked in for Karis LeVert. Here's Brogic from outside. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got 11 rebounds in the game. From deep. Indiana with a new shot clock. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Number four in five here. Numbers this year at the line below 70. So when he's getting to the line, oh, man, man. as effective as he's like. You know, it's been a rougher year than he expected at the line, guys. I mean, he's seen the numbers dropping off for him this year. Here's Matherin. He's got eight. The tray. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Drummond's got rebound number 15 here tonight. And a lot of contact on that. Crap. So he'll shoot two here. Go, 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 He's got five of eight free throws to shoot in the game. Ooh, got it. 15 foul. 
Yeah, free throws are getting brutal. Nice. Russo was cutting. And I'll bet he's pretty high from that range. And some changes here for the Pacers. Jackson, he's checked in for Goga Bitadze. And Taylor subbed in for Smith. Outside, Taylor. Back to McConnell. Goes up at the stripe. Doesn't go that time. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Now Caruso. He's got five. Drummond with it. And no good. Good work defensively by Turner. Jumped to get that rebound too early. Here's Matherin. And the Pacers can't get it to go. And he has been ice cold from beyond the arc here. Gee whiz. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes to help his team. Bulls foul. First trip to the free throw line for him. We'll put the starters back in right now. and allows them to run even more clock. Taylor with the ball and guarded by Capella. Bulls and he gets the whistle. Two free Clint throws coming up. Third He's gone two for two at the line so far. At the line for the Pacers. First one falls. Terry four. Taylor at the line for two. Good on both. The Bulls shooting pretty terrible here in the third quarter at around 30%. Dang it. Wrong person. Cabela kicks to Levine. Off target from outside. And, uh, in the Stewart was cutting towards the basket and I passed to Cabela instead. Taylor passes to Jackson. One ten left to play here in the third. Here's Matherin. No good off the back of the rim. No doubt the just not going his way. Still, 
There we go, Levine getting out in front. Taylor outside Jackson it's hauled in by Stewart pass to DeRozan plenty of space here's Capella shooting nah, free throws come on whistle blows Fifth person yeah, it's gonna be on Miles Turner. Ooh, got one. Who knew? Alright, one quarter left. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. And how about the big Pelle is showing us he's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. Hey, that was a high level pass no matter what position it came from. But it does make it stand out a little more when it's made by the big fella. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. So we get going in quarter number four. And so in the game for the Pacers, we've got TJ McConnell. See. And it's Tice in at the power forward. That's a good one. Up again, and it's put back up and in Three. by Capella. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking foul. I'm going to try to get that steal. Basketball. First that personal foul. Inside. First team foul. When you look at NBA salary numbers, Sparks, some rosters are only guys on the max or the minimum, one or the other. What happened? What happened to the middle salary? Yeah, it just kind of went away a little bit, Kevin. Well, when you have enough stars on your team, they take up the whole pie, and really they deserve it. But I think you got to have role players, too, who are willing to take a little less of the crumbs, so to speak. When you're talking seven groups. Capella doing what Capella does. Well, Capella's tenacity is so impressive. I mean, he's got an unlimited abundance of energy when it comes to offensive rebound. And the best Duarte. At three off the mark. One made three um, for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. I mean, that can happen to anyone, but it's ugly every time it does. Yeah, it is unfortunate, embarrassing. He just lost his concentration for a split second, and that's all it took. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. Here's Levine. Here's DeRozan. They shoot it again. Levine, that's it. Levine staying with it. Question who's been the aggressor on the offensive glass. Yeah, they have the advantage. A big one in second chance points. Those extra possessions really help an offense, and it demoralizes the defense. And here's McConnell. Shot clock at six. Dice, no good. The Bulls have gotten only three of their nine field goal attempts to go down since the end of the third. Pretty cold down the stretch. Oh! Good vision that time by the ball. You leave somebody From open Lonzo around him, he's going to get the ball to him. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some. That was a monster jam. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. TJ McConnell. As we know, it's here to stay, but people foul. continue to voice their opinion on the play-in tournament format. Uh, where do you fall? I like it, Kevin. I really do. It's creative. It's innovative. It adds a level of excitement. Do or die feel that you sometimes don't get and lets us a game seven in the NBA playoffs. I really think it's a good add-on. Catching up on the changes now for Indiana. Brissett has checked in for Daniel screen. Tice. And Taylor subbed in for Duarte. On the wing, Levine. Here's Stewart. 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 
stats a little bit here on that play. The board and the bucket. And you know, Frank, that'll put him in the Bo good graces of that coaching staff. <laughs> Bo Bo my goodness. Second Hard work on the offensive foul. glass always does Second that. I mean, his fouls. fans will remember the dunk, but the coaches love to rebound. Here's Brissett. No good again that time. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. And you know, you gotta be careful because this is when the team concept breaks down and guys start playing hero ball. The Rosenbosch, that came back. Moment here he continues to miss shot after shot from three point range. This is not a fourth quarter. He's going to want to remember. McConnell with it. Now defended by Levine. A shot by Nemhard. No good. Boy, I'm absolutely shocked he didn't get that one to go. Usually he's money from deep. Now here's Stewart. From outside the arc. That shot missing. Jump too early. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by. McConnell scanning the floor. And the NBA last season announced the creation of six new trophies for the division winner and named them after six pioneering players. Kevin, anytime you can connect the past, the legacy of the league to the present in meaningful ways, I think that's a winning situation. I mean, greats like Wayne Embry, Sam Jones, Willis Reed, who paved the way for generations of black players. I mean, I think it's a great move to recognize them and continue to realize the importance they played in helping to build the foundation on which the league stands. Levine got right around for the dunk. Showing that great burst. Outside, Taylor. Here's Nemhard. Inside, he dodges a. I see the foul. They've really hit a rough patch here. The ball shooting in the fourth quarter has looked shabby. 38%. He muscles nice. through the contact and they call the foul. He's on his way to the free throw. Defensive foul. They're going to have Andrew nice Nemhard here. Ah. Halliburton projected first for TJ McConnell. That one misses for Levine. An all-star caliber talent now in the league. Levine has shown a real fight and Nemhard. hunger to continue to improve. I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. Levine gets to DeRozan for the three. Levine's shot is off. And so much for repeating the three-point barrage he put on in the first half. Nothing here in the second. A shot by Taylor, no good. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. And so it's Halliburton who brings up the ball for the Indiana Pacers. And Clint Capella is going to pick up a foul. Clint Capella. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Personal foul. And that fourth foul, guys, might foul. push him to scale back the aggression from a defensive standpoint. He does not need, nor does the team need, number five. Nemhard, the pass to Big Johnson. Nemhard, shot Andrew is good. Nemhard. Nemhard's got five points now this quarter. All right, let's get the bench in these last six minutes. We don't injure the starters or anything. And finish this game off strong. Some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major, it could be just a slight tweak. There's Brogic with the three. Here's Bradley. And three chances on that possession. That was brutal. second free throw and not doing very well at the line in this half percentage has dropped all the way down to below 
<laughs> Check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Here's Drummond. And no good. The dry spell continuing for him. Here's Taylor. That's good. It's Halliburton Taylor. with the assist. Three points. Halliburton's got his seventh assist in the game. Rock is the best to Drummond. Players Clark, as we know, are changing teams more than ever before. Some don't like that. Some do. He was. Is something historically that foul. was fought for by the players. And again, you've heard me say it before, Kevin. Coming on to the power for the players, I'm in favor of. And so the movement is part of that empowerment. And sure, it can cut both ways to where some fans and league executives uh, may. There we go. Someone who hasn't played much this season. She's got a couple points right there. Back to Halliburton. Outside, Taylor. Indiana moving the ball over. Nemhard. Oh, and he almost had a four-point play right there. Derek Jones Jr. for three. Second personal foul. Good job trying to get a hand in the face, but you've got to be more careful. Especially on the three-point attempt. I mean, you have to defend that shot without fouling. Now you give a guy three free throws. And Chicago shooting in the fourth quarter down around 31%, not playing with as much energy here lately. Jones against Taylor. Jones the best to drive. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the goal to the foul. Fourth in the first one. Ooh, got that one. Third and they have making some changes. Daniel Dice comes in. Got them both. Nice. And it's T.J. McConnell in for Halliburton. And here's Indiana. They're on a 12-4 run right now. Jones against Taylor. Here's Nemard. The three. The rebound by Dosunmu. Now Drummond. Going inside. And again, Chicago, no good. And here are the bases now. They're on a 12 to 4 run. Pass to McConnell. Here's Brissett, guarded by Bradley. Brissett passes to Nemo. Takes the three. And it's Bradley with the rebound. Bradley's got rebound in the nice. second. Nice. Oh, what a pass there. 40 point game. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. McConnell passes to Nemar. McConnell with it. From eight. Chicago grabs the miss. Drummond's got rebound number 19 now. Incredible board work. And with the internet and social media, players Clark had so much more. Here we go. Is that important? Kevin, anytime you can empower folks to share their voice, their stories, and he dunks in the same game. Nice. I think that's a positive. Player empowerment is something that social media avails not only to players, but I think to everybody. Uh, it doesn't just bring attention to the game, but also causes Andre and Drummond. commitments players Third have to their respective five. communities Team and is issues independent. that are going on in the world. So I think it can be far services. more good than bad. T.J. McConnell, the platform two shots. The first free throw is good. And both free throws, good for McConnell. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for Chicago. Here's Drummond. It's that was a good release, just too contested. And for the Pacers, they're shooting terribly up to this point. Just 30%. Some ramshackle offense for the flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. One of his favorite moves right there, guys. Jones with the dunk. Oh, he just slid right through. TJ McConnell. Defense no factor, which is why he simply laid it in. And Chicago shooting about 42% so far. Now, here's 
Dosumu. He's covered by McConnell. Dosumu, the pass to Drummond. It's rebounded by Tice. And it's Indiana's ball. Taylor taking his time here. Passes to Nemhoff. Taylor inside, defended by Jones. They grab their own miss. Tries again. A shot by Taylor, no good. Taylor's gone two for five, shooting 40% from the field here. And right from the get-go, they stood out as the better team. Their hunger to dominate and play for each other was outstanding for the Bulls. This was a team performing to its... Uh, nice. many will soon forget and on the other side one that I think most will try to forget and so checking out their season record this game will become their 45th win and they cap off the season it's Tony Bradley but W's four straight we don't see conference opponents coming up on the floor for your goal this has been total domination and what a tremendous standout performance it was for Zach Levine it was the kind of game for him that scores dream of where the basket seemed as wide as a barrel and, and guys this is where their depth really comes in nice. at that position they'd love to have him out there but they won't suffer much of a drop off outside Taylor out left to the wing pass to Tice and the Pacers can't get it to go Chicago with the ball. From it up top. Pulls it up. Again, Chicago. Drummond taking advantage of that mismatch, putting in work on the inside. Concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback diminished. There's the drive. Uses the glass. And we hit 140. It's a 46 point win right there, ladies and gentlemen. 46 piece. Solid win. See that box score. Levine had 44 points. Drummond had 41, Ball had 12, Drajic had 10, Stewart, Capella, Caruso each had 7, and then Jones, Bradley, and Desumu each had 4. Drummond had that double-double. Capella, Bradley, and Stewart didn't have enough points to get a double-double. Somehow Drummond led the team with 5 assists, I don't know how. Bunch of steals, some locks. Not too many turnovers, that's not too bad. Nobody had more than one, which is really surprising. Uh, Levine hit eight threes. Ball hit a couple. Drogic hit a couple. It was a good win. Next one's against the Nuggets after a couple days off, so be well rested for that one. That one will be a really good one against Jokic and Murray and Porter and Gordon. Caldwell Pope. That'll be a good one. It's a good team. An office throws and still upset. He wants more touches, but whatever. Uh, let's see the standings. Ooh. We're one game behind. Same amount of losses as the Mavs. In the West, so yeah. Let's see this. Levine's still sixth in points per game. 
balls, leading the league in steals per game. Somehow Capella isn't first in blocks per game, which I find hard to believe. But he is first in rebounds per game. Levine still first in three-pointers, made a game. Check out the player stats. It's basically Levine and then everybody else. So you have Levine at 31.8, and then DeRozan at 17, Ball at 16.5, Stewart at 14.2, and Drummond at 13.6. Check out the award races real quick. Nobody's even close for MVP on our team. Don't have a rookie. Six man, Drummond still second. Ball still leading for defensive player of the year. Stewart still last in this ranking for most improved player. So yeah, we'll see how it plays out over the last uh, however many games are left. We're getting towards the end. I can see the end actually now on the calendar, so. We're getting there. The next one's against the Nuggets, so stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next one.